tenacious, attacking, forcing turnovers. Get after it, man. Yeah, get after it. <laughs> For these young guys, they come in every game is new and exciting. And intercepting four passes. by rookie safety Steve Adwater to finally thwart a late Raider comeback attempt. For the rookie safety, the win was as big as they come. Going into the season, we knew that we had a chance to be good. You know, we still have a long way to go at this point, but you know, that was our, our biggest test so far. And um, you know, for us to come out victorious, it was a big game for us. It was a big motivational factor also. Still is, even though Jerry's gone to the house of pain. Steve Atwater trying to apply some pain of his own on Haywood Jeffries. Houston's 24. <laughs> then DeBerg almost picked up by Charlotte Demre. But Tim Barnett is loose. Only the speed and strength. Sit down, son. In the fourth, Cardinals threatening again. Steve Atwater hits Chandler on the blitz. That's ruled an incompletion. The replay officials overrule. They call the fumble. But Pro Bowl safety. Freeze. No, it's picked up by Atwater. Hey, look, get it, go. Run it for 50 yards before he's come back to haunt you. Dan Reeves knows that. Second quarter. Boom. Picked up by the Pro Bowl safety, Steve Atwater. He returns it deep. He returns it into Euler territory. But on the fourth position this time, Atwater gets to keep an interception. It was a replay. They looked at it. Yeah, you're right. Troy Aikman in a quarterback for the first time, trying to replicate the success and nearly picked off by Steve Atwater of the Broncos. Rip and throws, Atwater picks it off at the 15 in the collision with Rod Woodson. Guy so rangy, look at it, go up through the ball, catch the ball at its highest point, just like a coach teaches it. Sanders again, forget it minutes left third and ten he uncorks one 71 yards to Curtis Duncan and he is almost gone but caught by Steve Atwater and 27 17 two and a half to go last chance where is that pass Steve Atwater picks off Stan Humphreys sets up a touchdown run by Robert Del Pino after Atwater gets done running it almost in himself 68 yard return for underneath pass to Jefferson that works up for him and works again Boy, is he met in the open field by Steve Atwater. Is that a tackle stopping forward progress? Could Montana come up with a miracle play in John Elway's backyard? Not today. Denver holds on in one of the better games of the year. Young play action. Directing traffic almost intercepted. Atwater had it right in his hands and couldn't hold it. He was gone. NFC. Far to Nova check and he is blasted by Atwater. Holy cow, what a shot. They close on the ball so fast, right part of your screen. There's the pass. Nova check catches it. Atwater just comes up and he takes him right a shoulder to the helmet. Absolutely loves to do it. Hit like it. Far with a pump fake, got away from Howie Long. Throws and it's almost picked off. Atwater cut in front of the receiver and had 95 yards of green in front of him. Now Brett sets, throws that little, I'm going to throw the ball forward, I'm going to fall backward release, and Atwater doesn't involve uh, ligament damage or anything else. Far starts the second half. Oh. Throws to Rice, and Rice is obliterated by Atwater. Throws and Wade Phillips. The Broncos had never started 0-5. First quarter, Rick, no time to wallow in the mire. Steve Atwater picks him off. 23-yard return lead, plus minus in football. Second quarter, tied at three, Meyer. This time he'll look for the former special teams ace, now one of his receivers, Michael Bates. And he's open, trying to make the move, and Randy Hilliard strips him of the ball. Atwater picks it up. Two plays later, Green left. He's popped by Atwater. He fumbles. Elijah Alexander picks it up. 
goes for an apparent touchdown. But the refs say no, he stepped out of bounds on the Denver 33 yard line. The Broncos would take over. The Broncos feature one of the best. Well, Steve Gatwater, you know, has been, uh, you know, our strong safety. He's got the ability to play the strong safety and the free safety position. You know, he's got the chance to dominate his position. You know, I expect some great things out of Steve. After his fifth straight trip to the Pro Bowl, Steve Atwater, number 27, will be an intimidating force for the Denver defense for years to come. Defense. It's long been a Broncos tradition. And in 1995, the goal will be to put the crush back in the orange. Nothing. Sharp, over 100 in the first half. Broncos 12-7. Third quarter, fourth and goal for the Bills. At the one, they're down five. Hold on. Let's show you this again. Oh, man. Are you insured? He's off to a good start. Second play from scrimmage. Jeff Hostetler's pass tipped by Derek Fetter right to Steve Atwater. And he would return it down to the Raider 19. And that would lead to a field goal. Then Steve Atwater. Safety blitz. Stuffs Harvey Williams right in the hole. Williams, six carries, eight yards. Fourth and seven at the Bronco 38. And Humphreys is going to go to Charlie Jones. And Steve Atwater is going to make Charlie feel like he should go back to the house booth. Yeah, and certainly, Char if you're Charlie, you want to go back and have a little talk with your quarterback about lobbing the ball up. Career start, could they beat the champs? Broncos and Chiefs, you know it was hard hitting at Arrowhead. They're gaining momentum. Then Rashawn Salam. Oh, he fumbles in the pile. Tyrone Braxton picks it up. What happened, Tom? Well, the magic of Mile High Stadium, the referee's vision goes a little bit bad. Patriots next possession, first play. Drew Bledsoe, nice play fake. Bad pass. Steve Atwater picks him off, and the big fellow's going to return at 14 yards until... A little bit of excitement here with the fumble. Terry Glenn forces it, but it's out of bounds. Denver keeps the ball. And Chris, as you said, beautiful play fake right there by Drew Bledsoe. Just doesn't seem to see Atwater underneath. Ball comes up a little short. Steve turns going the other way. And it's 7-3. The light, the uh, the Broncos. Gary Brown needed 82 yards for a thousand. Left with a groin injury, so he could not get his million dollar bonus. Although he then Alex Van Pelt replaces Todd Collins, second and goal from the five. Fumble. Mark Levy has seen it all. Looks like it's not going to be on this day. One minute before the half, San Diego down 14. Craig Wheelahan, his pass tipped by Neil Smith. Steve Atwater picks it off, goes 27 yards, 28-7. Back, second and six, 49ers in the Bronco. 14 young, finds Rice for the touchdown. 166 touch of Rice's career, but you'll see he's slow to get up after this catch. They pick him up off the turf. Let's take a second look at what happened. His surgically repaired left knee gets buried in the turf. Next Packer drive. Steve Atwater had a big game. He popped far with the blitz, and Neil Smith recovers downfield. Broncos couldn't move them in the second quarter. Deep in their own territory, a huge play by Chamora to hold on again. That's Atwater with the big pop. Far. Seven plays later, they make six first downs in this drive, sit in the Packers recover. So, far to Robert Brooks, who did not have a big day at all. Steve Atwater is right there, but cannot quite handle it. It was too easy almost. Yeah, great read off the double zone, I think. Far to Freeman, down to the 14-yard line, 17-yard rally to defending champ Packers. 35 seconds left down to the 32 to Brooks. Atwater and Brooks collide. Both injuries, both teams had to spend timeouts, automatic injuries inside the two minutes. Shannon Sharp and the Broncos, ecstatic. They carry off number seven and a well-earned Vince Lombardi trophy. 